do this. You want to... Sir. Set that. Rise, give an honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Asking everyone to stand as we sing, We Are Soldiers. We are soldiers. We're in the army. We are proud. Although we have pride, we are Give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel, as the deacons cover the doors, minister to the altar. And first of all, I say welcome to each and every one that is here for our 38th year annual day. And I call in Junior Deacon McKean Baker Jr. to read the Lord's Prayer. He's not here. He's not here. Junior Deacon Kenny Page. All right, I just give on to the Lord, Father, King of our Lizard, do the Lord's prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptations, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. Congregation of Sun, please. Why don't you try, 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 try
try it, Jack. Why don't you try, try it, Jack? I know that. Oh, no. Why don't you try? Rise, give it out to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. As he can cover the doors and minister the altar, as we have the Israel's prayer done by our Brad Mother Pe Peggy Singleton. Here you are. All right, give it on to the Holy Father, King of all Israel, to pray the Israel prayer. Alleluia. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart be acceptable in thy sight. 
Holy Father, we know that thou hast made us and love us and want us to be obedient unto thy word. And we do thank thee for thy enduring love towards us. Help us to be peaceful in mind and heart and lead us unto thy truth and light, which shall fulfill our lives each day according to thy will. Father, we do acknowledge thee and know if we should keep thy commandments, thou will direct thy pathways in righteousness. Help us to be grateful for thy love and guidance, which is without cost, <clears throat> rich with love, joy, and peace, which cannot be bought or sold or taken away. And to these jewels of joy, Holy Father, please add a little prosperity for which we have need of. Help us to reach at oneness with thee so we can truly renew our strength to live and not be sick, but shall walk in perfect health with thee. And now, dear Father, charge us with our power of love so that we may be able to live eternally and help us be worthy of these and all other blessings that thou seest we have need of. We ask these blessings in the name of the Lord God of Israel. Amen, amen, and amen. Alleluia.
fight your battle if you just keep. Oh, if you serve right, you're gonna fight them If you serve right, you're gonna fight your battle. If you serve right, you're I know God will fight your battle if just keep still. Rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel, as the deacons cover the doors, minister to the altar, as I call on our own deacon, Lenny White, to uh, do the opening ceremony. Amen. Amen. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel, do the opening ceremony, asking everyone to stand, place your right hand over your heart, Keep your mind only on the God of Israel as the opening ceremony is being conducted. Ministers to the altar, deacons to the door. Genesis 35th chapter, 9 through 11 verses. And God appeared upon Jacob again, and he came out of Padamaram and blessed him. And God said unto him, Thy name is Jacob, the name shall not be called any more Jacob, but Israel shall be thy name. And he called his name Israel. And God said unto him, I am God Almighty, be fruitful and multiply. A nation and a company of nations shall be of thee, and kings should come out of thy lines, members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. Exodus, the fourth chapter, 22nd and the 23rd verses. And thus, and thus said unto the Pharaoh, thus said the Lord, Israel is my son, even my firstborn. And I say unto thee, let my son go, that he may serve me. If thou refuse to let him go, behold, I will slay thy son, even thy firstborn, members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. Isaiah the 43rd chapter, first through the seventh verse. verse. <clears throat> but now thus said the Lord, who created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, I have received, I have redeemed thee, I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. When I pass it through the waters, thou will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When I walk it through the fire, they shall not be burned. Neither shall the flames kill upon thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopian and Seba for thee. Since I was precious in my sight, thou hast been honorable. And I have loved thee. Therefore, I will give men for thee and people for thy life. Fear not, for I am, for I am with thee. I will bring thy seeds from the east and gather thee from the west. I will say to the north, give up. And to the south, keep not back. Bring my sons from afar and my daughters from the ends of the earth, even everyone that is called by my name. I have created him for my glory. I have formed him, yea, I have made him members. The Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. Ezekiel the 37th chapter, 20th through the 28th verses. And the stick wherein thou writest shall be in thy hand before thy eyes, and say unto them, Thus said the Lord, God, behold, I will take the children of Israel from among the heathens where they be gone, and I will gather them on every side, and I will bring them into their own land, and I will make them one nation upon the land of the mountains of Israel. Members? Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. And one king shall be king to them all. There should be no more, no more two, two nations, neither, neither shall they be divided, and the two kingdoms any more at all. Neither should they defile their, their detestable themselves with any of their idols, nor their detestable things, nor any of their transgressions. But I will save them out of their dwelling places, wherein they have sinned, and I will cleanse them, and, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God. Members? Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. And David, my servant, shall be king over them, and they shall, and they shall have one shepherd, and, and they shall also walk in my judgment and observe my statutes and do them. And they shall dwell in the land that I have given unto Jacob, my servant, where their fathers have dwelled. They shall dwell therein and, and their children and their children's children forever. And my servant David shall be their prince forever. Members? Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee. 
and then we shall be the true Israel of God. Moreover, I will make a covenant of peace with them. It will be an everlasting covenant with them. I will place them and multiply them and set my sanctuary in the midst of them forevermore. My tabernacle shall be, my tabernacle shall be with them and I will be their God and they shall be my people. And the heathen shall know that, the, that I the Lord do sanctify Israel and my sanctuary shall be in the midst of them forevermore, members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. Isaiah the 45th chapter, 16 to 17 verses. Acts the 13th chapter, 22nd and the 23rd verses. Romans the 11th chapter, 26th verse. Galatians the 6th chapter, 15 and 16 verses. That should be ashamed and also confounded, all of them. That should go into confusion together that are makers of idols. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with the everlasting salvation. They should not be ashamed nor confounded, world without end. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. And when he had removed him, he raised upon him David to be their king, to whom he gave testimony and said, I have found David, the son of Jesse, a man after my own heart, which shall fulfill all my will. And if this man's seed had God according to his promise raised upon him Israel, a savior Jesus. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. And so all Israel shall be saved as it is written. There shall come out of them, there's come out of them Zion a deliverer, who shall turn away ungodliness from Jacob. Members. Lord God of Israel, help us to love thee, and then we shall be the true Israel of God. For in Christ Jesus, neither circumcision availeth any anything anything nor uncircumcision but a new creature and as many as walk according to his rule peace be on him and mercy upon the israel of god members lord god of israel help us to love thee and then we shall be the true israel of god let us keep our minds on the king of all israel and repeat after me as we go through the prayer lord god of israel lord god of israel there's no god like unto thee there's no god like unto thee and thy name is great Great. And shall, shall and must be honored and must be honored for all the true Israels of God. All the true Israel of God. Help us to so die, us so die from, this from this world in ourselves, in ourselves that, thy kingdom that thy kingdom can freely come unto us. Freely come unto us. Help us to so be dead, Help us so be dead to, the world, to the world in ourselves, in ourselves that we might be freely willing, might be freely willing for thy will to be done. Both in our bodies, Both in our bodies and, spirit. and spirit. Help us to so love thee, so thee that will only be, that will only be thy, will thy will to deliver us to deliver from us. all that thou hatest. And, and lead us lead us only, and lead us only into that thou lovest. That that thou love. Give us, Give us and, teach us and teach us thy willing way, thy willing way each, day each day as we're able to receive it. All the kingdoms are thine. All the kingdoms are thine. And if we love thee, we love thee thou freely give, thou freely and, give bless us and bless us with, with and, in them, and in them all powers in thine hand. All powers in thine hand. And if we love thee, we love thee thou freely give, thou, freely give thou, power to us. thou power to us. Help us to so love thee, so love thee that we can be can the be true Israels of God. God. Thou hast placed thou has salvation in Zion. For it was our glory. These and other blessings, we ask the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Further service to the hand of the deacons.
burning. I got Junior Deacon for singing that beautiful congregational song. This time we're going to sing a couple of doors in the minister of the altar. We have our theme of scripture read by our own trustee, Katie Ruffin. Here you are. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to read the scripture today. And the theme for the month of October is Whom He Called. And the lesson today is found in St. Matthew, the fifth chapter, the ninth through the 14th verses, and the subject is in the ninth verse, and it reads as follows. Blessed are peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden underfoot of men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. And the subject verse is the ninth verse. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Amen. May the God of Israel add a blessing to the reading, hearing, and the doing of his word. Taking on trustee Katie. Ruffin for reading uh, our lesson. At this time, the program asks for a welcome address by Sister Angela Kinsey. Yeah. Good morning, Israel. I rise and give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel, or to the King of all Israel, to do the welcome and speech. Just one second, child. One second. Okay, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Good morning, Israel. Family and friends, we would like to welcome you to the Pontiac Temple. Number 11, we greet you with peace. We greet you with love. We hope you enjoy this wonderful day that the God of Israel has given us. Remember to always keep the faith, 
and seek him first in all you do, and he will always see you through. So let us rejoice in him, for he is worthy to be praised. So we would like to thank you for coming, and we hope you enjoy the program. May the God of Israel always keep you and bless you with his mercy and grace. From the Pontiac Temple, we wish you peace and love. Thank you. This time the program asks for a response by Bride Mother Anita Hanna. I don't see her here. I'm going to ask for a response by Brad Mother Octavia Jones. Here you are. Thanks. Thanks. You take it after that. Again, I want to ask good morning to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, being glad just to be here. Good evening, Israel. And to be the response. And to Sister Anita, we want to. Thank you for welcoming us, and I'm always glad to be back home, right here at Pontiac Temple Number 11, where I was born and raised from 1968 all the way up until I was, of course, married. Um, but this is my home, my people, and I love you, and thank you for welcoming me back home. Have a good time, Israel. Good morning to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. At this time, we're going to turn the first service over to the hand of our own trustee, Deacon Earl Howe. All, all stand. stand. Turn the further service over to our own trustee, Deacon Earl Howe. All right. To give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Again, thanking the God of Israel for waking me this morning. Start me on my way with the use and activity of my limbs. And thank him for keeping me above the grass and not under the roots. And the blessing, the, the first blessing is when he, when he wake you up in the morning. Yeah. That is our first blessing. You know? And we, uh, we, wanna, uh, thank, we thank the king for allowing Hanak to have our two-day an an anniversary, 58 two-day anniversary. We thank the king for allowing us to have it. And, uh, you know, and, and just thank the king for bringing this good weather with me, bringing this good weather uh, you know, it's a beautiful day. It's a wonderful, sunny, beautiful day. And uh, I want to thank uh, two deacons, Deacon Andre Harris and, 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 and Deacon uh, Smith, Clarence Smith, for running a wonderful, wonderful devotion. Amen. Wonderful devotion. And, you know, it was something that stuck with me from this morning from, from, from the overseer, Bishop Flanders Coswell. He said, respect. We must respect each other. And if you know, and, and, and if you if you uh, if you're talking about me, if we is what you're talking about yourself, right, right. And, you know, you're talking about me, you're talking that stuck with me too. And I, 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 I thought about that. You still, you're talking about yourself and you're talking about me. So uh, we, let's bring it. Uh, let's, let's just love one another. Love one another. Look out for each other. Respect each other. And uh, that being said, uh, we're going to call for our youth instructor. As the deacon to cover the door, the minister altar, we have a youth instructor, Reverend uh, Johnette Washington. <laughs> deacon cover the door. What's she got? What's she got? Uh, 
I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, be your youth instructor for today. I think it's a wonderful thing that we want our children to be a certain way. But we are their examples. And you don't want your back, your little girl walking around with her clothes way up here. Don't you do it. Don't show, have a little pride. Let her be a little surprise there, you know. Gentlemen, you don't want your son smoking. Don't smoke in front of them. You don't want them to drink. Don't drink in front of them. Because mm -hmm. we are examples for our children. And children, be respectable. If your mother tell you to go sit down, you go and sit down. Don't say, well, I'm getting ready to, but I got to go. No, sit down. <laughs> Amen. And parents, we got to do the same thing. We got to lower your voice. Well, I'm not going to have that today, but go and sit down, son. Try that one first. Then if you don't sit down, what did I, didn't I tell you to sit down? And we always want to talk to the youth about drugs, not using drugs. It's so harmful. That little high you get for a few minutes is not even worth your time. Because what you going to do when it, when, it, when it go away? You know what I mean? It, it lasts for a little while and then it just disappears. Then whatever it is that you worry about or you, or you can't resolve, it comes right back to you. And then you got to start all over again. So children, grown-ups, all of us, be careful about how we treat one another. And if you want somebody to talk nice to you, talk nice to them. <laughs> Biting people's head off, and then when they bite yours off, look what they did to me, I ain't even do nothing to them. Well, stop biting people's head off, and then they won't bite yours off. We just got to learn how to treat one another. That's what I'm trying to say. Be more respectable toward each other. That's, that's part of our teaching. And be an example. If we have children, grandchildren, I have 85 grandchildren. Grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great. So you know they got me up against the wall. <laughs> I got to do this thing right, because I want them to say, I saw Granny over there doing something. So did y'all see her over there? I got to keep myself together for not only myself, but for the ones that are behind me, that are following me. And I hope you gained a thought. <laughs> We will ask Jesus to remain on the door and the ministry of the altar as we have our instructional mother, Reverend, Reverend Bride Mother Barbara Freeman. Yes, sir. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, to be your instructional mother for this evening. And to say to our visitors, we welcome you here to the Spirituals of Church and its army. This is where we are being taught how to suit and serve a true and living God and how to be obedient to the man that the God of Israel has blessed us with in this generation, who is none other than our own Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, the King of all Israel, and also how to have life more, life more abundantly. And to say to the families of Israel, let's just keep on coming around each other, supporting one another, loving one another, appreciating one another, praying for one another, because we all know that prayer do changes things. And at this time, I'm gonna ask you to go with me in a word of prayer as we say, Our Father, Our Father, which art in heaven, which art in heaven hallowed be thy name, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, thy will be done in earth, in earth as it is in heaven. As it is in heaven. Give us this day, give us this day, our daily bread, our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, forgive us our debt, as we forgive our debtor, and we forgive our debt, and lead us not, and lead us not into temptation, into temptation, but deliver us, but deliver us from evil, from evil. For thine is the kingdom, thine is the kingdom, and the power, the power, and the glory, and the glory, forever, forever. Amen. Amen.
Let us take heed to the words of the youth instruction, also instruction the mother. And we have our queen also in the midst here, but let's just give her a wave. Let's show her some love. Give her a wave and a hand. There she is. There she is. <laughs> It's a blessing, sure blessing. It's without uh, what to do with the, uh, I want to say this, Israel, I am so glad to see all of you out, all parts of the vineyard, to help celebrate our two-day, uh, 58th annual two-day program. Amen. Thank all of you. Thank the kitchen, the food, if it was delicious. Thank, the, thank for the, the cooks that prepared the hands and also the ones that worked in the kitchen. Thank all of you for supporting the kitchen. And, and uh, you know what? I'm gonna say this here. Men, listen at this. Ladies are always right. Ain't that right? Didn't you hear that, lady? <laughs> ladies are always right. Ain't that right, lady? But, but, but men, listen up. Ladies, listen up. Listen up, ladies. Men are never wrong. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 Spear told me that, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. yeah. That being said, thank you again for coming in and celebrating with us. And uh, it was something else I wanted to say, but uh, I'm going to sit down. I'm going to sit down. <laughs> Turn the first service over to the minister in charge. Oh, oh, turn it over to uh, Elder Dennis Sweeney. We don't have a 20 minute musical. 20 minute musical. Let, 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 let me hear your wonderful voices. Arise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Good evening, Israel. How are you feeling? It's good to be here, ain't it? Put your hands together. Let's make some noise. Wow, I see some Pontiac folk I ain't seen in a while out there. Look at Robert Powell, let's give him a hand, yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, that's them Franklin Road folk, amen. Thanking the God of Israel for him. Well, you don't come to nobody's house and don't respect the house. So now we're gonna ask Pontiac, come on and give us an A selection, open this program up. Let's give them a hand as they come forward. Big Clay Smith, come on out here, man. Oh, yeah, I say. Sing a song. Sing this song, Mother Shira. Come on, Janet. Mother Shira, Reverend Janet. Put these singers over here. <laughs> Digger Robert, ain't you got one for me? <laughs> we rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. One more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. You know that I'm so glad. If my mother was here today, these are the words you would hear her say. She would say that I'm so glad. Just one more time. One more time. Lord, Time. One more time. 
You know that I'm so glad to be in service one more time. Oh, one more time. If Bishop Haywood was here today, these are the words you would hear him say. He would say that I'm so glad to be in service. Just one more time, one more time. Lord, one more time, one more time. You know that I'm so glad to be in service. One more time, oh, one more time. If Elder Eli was here today. These are the words you would hear him say. He would say that I'm so glad to be in service one more time. Oh, one more time. Just one more time. One more time. Lord, one more time. You know that I'm so glad to be in service just one more time, oh, one more time. If Elder Sidney was here today, these are the words you would hear him say. He would say that I'm so glad to be in service one more time, oh, one more time, just one more time, one more time, Lord, one more time, one more time, you know that we're so glad. We should say that what? Say it one more time. One more time. Oh, one more time. You said that you you so what? Glad to be one more time. Just one more time. One more time. You know that we're so glad. Glad to be in service one more time. I'd like to just take the time to tell you I'm, I'm originally in Detroit, but I still feel like I'm number one in Pontiac. The, the, the devil told me I've almost forgot the king's last name. They say, you go to see uh, Bishop Bobby, who? I say, you a lie. You ain't going to tell me I don't know who I'm, so I'm going to serve. I'm serving true and living God. That's why I say, I'm glad to be in service one more time. <laughs> Bishop Bobby Davis, the king of all Israel. Amen. Let's give Pontiac another hand. Very thankful. Now, we're going to bench out a little bit. You see, should have been here last night. Had a stomping good time last night. Singleton's kind of wrecked the house, okay? But they left a little bit for us. And this is how we're going to do this. We're going to ask uh, bride mother Lily Yarbrough to get whoever she wants. 
and we're going to ask her to come forth and give us an A selection, all right? Dennis. I said it's me. It's me. It's me, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Lord, I am. In the need of Lord, it's me, yeah. I'm 
standing. I'm standing. You know I'm standing here. Yeah. I'm standing. Lord, I know you've been so good, yeah. Lord, You know, back in the day, when they were on Franklin Road, there was a young lady that used to go here. Her name was Eva Powell. And she had a group called the Pontiac Spirituals. And see, I remember her teaching a song here. And the song was, That's What My Israel Is. I want Elder Alice and uh, whoever else she wants to help her. Just hit a little bit of that and we gonna move on. Let's give her a hand as she come forward. So I rise and give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. Oh Lord have mercy. Getting to be like Paul Turner. <laughs> <clears throat> I just want y'all to know while we're getting this together that uh, I appreciate everybody for every little bit you have done to help us out. And I'm especially thankful for my nephew, Deacon Clarence, because he said, T.T., I want you to sit down, just tell me how to do it, and I'm going to work this out for you. So I tried to sit down. <laughs> I tried to sit down. I did sit down but I jumped right back up. But I'm just so grateful for him making this program be what it is. And I hope he do this all the time. <laughs> but I think he understand what I do more now than he did before. So I know I'm a baby to depend on him more. But everybody helped. But some, you know, some people do a little bit more than other people. And ain't no need of lying about it. I ain't want to do all that talking. We're going to sing, that's what my Israel is. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Tink, I'm thankful to have her. She's been laying in here. And my nephew, Brian, we've been over here since Wednesday working. Lulu, me, all right. Brian, Clarence. All right. them, them women were calling. He didn't know where he was. So he was over here. And he couldn't answer the phone. <laughs> We had him locked in. <laughs> yeah, he was at the church house. <laughs> and they probably didn't believe it, but he was. So I'm telling it. <laughs> Hi, <God. Yeah. clears throat> he, mm. Let me take this off.
No, I don't see no. <laughs> I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel, to sing a song. He is peace. Oh, yes, he is. And he is peace. Show not be And that's what my Israel is a day young. Oh, yes, he is. Show not be that's and what my, when my is rally. And he is joy. Joy. Sure enough, he is joy. In the time of sorrow. And this what my is really is. What my is rally. The man is love, love, shown up his broken heart, and that's what my Israel is. That's today. what my years really shown up his ooh, ooh, that's what my years really shown up his job. See, you be ooh, down and out. I'm telling you. Somebody will come what along and show you the way. Really you can call him in the sick Ooh, room. Talk to him when you go to the courtroom. When you're down and out is. on your sick bed, Ooh, I know the king will come to your Ooh, rescue, y'all. He came to really my rescue is. one day. Ooh, and I'm so Ooh, glad I know a man who can. Is. Really I'm glad is. I know the man Ooh, with the plan, y'all. Yes, I am. That's what my is really I was laying on my sick bed Ooh, one night. About 12 o'clock in the night. Really I heard somebody Ooh, tap on the door. Ooh, that's what my and the man is came on really in with his wife, y'all. Ooh, Mother Gloria, it's your Bobby Joe's that my is really I done got to the point that I got him. I can look for him in my home and I can see him there. He's been a deliverer for me, oh. That's what my is really See, that's the way they used to do it on Sunday nights up here. Amen. We thanking the God of Israel for them. We have a young lady that traveled all the way from the Sunshine State, from the city of Fort Lauderdale. It wouldn't be right to have her come all the way up here and not sing nothing. I speak of our own bride mother, Brenda. I can't pronounce her last name, but she know what it is. She used to be Torrance, all right? Bride mother, Brenda Torrance. Let's see here. Oh, I was going to hold Father King of all Israel. I was just getting ready to, to exit out. I got to take this plane. Okay. Um, We were saying, uh, oh, 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 what he done for me. Oh, 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 oh what he done for me. Oh, yeah. my soul one day. Oh yes, he 
bless my soul one day. Let's give her another hand. Amen. My 20 minutes is up. We thank you to God for your participation. Please don't get angry with me if I didn't get to you. Charge it to my head and not my heart, okay? We thank you, we thank you. We're gonna turn this part of the service back into the hands of Deacon Earl. I was trying to sneak out the back door, he caught me. <laughs> Let me turn this off. There we go. Again, I rise in honor of the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Thanking uh, uh, Elder Dennis for running a wonderful, wonderful musical. And again, thanking all of you that come in to help us uh, enjoy our annual day, two-day two annual day. And again, I want to thank our pastor for, for working so diligently to make this day a success. She really works for this. And Israel, before I turn over, I just want to say, Israel, I love y'all. And ain't nothing you can do about it. <laughs> We're going to turn the first service of the vice chairman of the Deacon's Council, Deacon Robert Davis. I rise in on the Holy Father, King of all lives. First of all, thank you, God, for my life. Thank you, see there's many out. And just to say I've been having a wonderful, wonderful time. And thank you, God, for the King of all Israel, Bishop Bobby J. Davis, and the Queen, Evangelist Bride, Mother Gloria Davis. Also, I thank you for my pastor in Saginaw, Elder Joseph Grace, my sister pastor, Elder Ronnie Roman. And thank you for you, you, and especially you. I always pray for Israel the world over. And I'm just telling you, Pontiac, we thanking you. I have had a wonderful time me two days. I'm not here for a long time. My name is Trustee Robert Davis. I'm the Vice Chairman of the United Dean Council. The Chairman of the United Dean Council is Trustee Carlos Denning. He's not going to be here tonight, but he's still me to send you all his love. Now, at this time, we're going to turn the further service over in the hand of the minister in charge, Reverend Woods. Truly, I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, King of all Israel. Thanking the Holy Father for my life, and I truly thank him for you and for yours. I thank each and every one for being out with us these last two days. Saturday was great. Sunday morning was even greater. I'm thankful for the king that sent a man to give us this word about a true and a living God. And when he opened his mouth, these words echoed off the wall this morning. And it bounced into somebody. <laughs> somebody heard the word. Reason I know because I heard people shouting. I heard people give bearing witness to what was said. I heard people jumping up and patting their feet 
because I did it myself. I got some of the words in it. But I ain't going to prolong the time. I'm just thankful for the king. I'm thankful for the queen of all Israel. I'm truly thankful for my pastor here at number 11, L. Alice France. And I'm truly thankful for my wife pushing me out the door early this morning. Come on, we got to go get this last day over with. I said, okay, let's go. And it's been good, good, and very good. And I truly thank you for coming down with us and participating. And uh, my pastor, she always bouncing around for when it's time for her to speak. She, I can't find her. So, but uh, yeah. since I can't find her, I'm going to try to serve in the hands of Ella Marion Robinson. <laughs> Truly, I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Being very thankful for my life, very thankful for each and every one in your life. Being very thankful for the man of God in this generation, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, his administrative staff. Truly being very thankful for each and every one of you that's sitting under the sound of my voice. Just to say the God of is good to Israel. Woke us up this morning with the use and activities of our limbs. The blood still running warm in our veins. And we are in the knowledge that we are in the land of the living. Just to say that the God of Israel is good, Israel. Real, real, real good, <laughs> Lord. And at this time, I turn the further service over into the hands of the pastor of the Flint Temple, our own Ella Janice. Let's give her a hand. All right, give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. Truly thankful to be here, thanking the God of Israel for our King, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis, and our Queen, Evangelist Elder Bride Mother Gloria Davis. And then I'm thankful for Israel the world over to say that I have truly been enjoying myself and still looking forward for what's to come. And I am not going to prolong the time. At this time, I'm going to turn the further service over to our um, Bishop Edward Lee Mack. Let's give him a hand as he comes to us. <laughs> Truly, I rise giving honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, thanking and praising the great and almighty God of Israel for us for my life. Thanking him for the man of God in this generation, Bishop Bobby J. Davis and his wife, being thankful for our overseer. And his wife, being thankful for our system overseer, being thankful for my wife, being thankful for the spiritual Israel church and its army, the world over, every member, name by name. Holy, we're still seeking for more wisdom, more knowledge, and a better understanding of how to suit and serve a true and a living God. And we have a very beautiful lesson that we've been using all this month. So Israel, do not leave this place without taking this lesson with you. This is something you and I got to work on each and every day. All right? And I'm not going to belong to town. I'm going to turn this part of the to our sister Moses, Bishop Kenny Evans. Let's hear him as he comes. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, thanking and praising the God of my life, thanking him for your lives, thanking for the lives of our brothers and sisters, the spiritual Israel church and Sami the world over, thanking him for being a good God, for being a merciful God, for being a forgiving God. And most of all, for being a right here and a right now God. Not a God way off beyond the sun and the moon and the stars that we're hoping someday somehow to meet, but rather a God that walks and talks in you and I. Thanking him for keeping his love, thanking him for keeping his arms of love protection wrapped around each and every one of us, allowing us to return to this place one more time, still gets the opportunity to come up to be what he would have us to be. To say truly, Israel, this is the day that the Lord have made. Let us rejoice and be glad therein. Still being thankful for the man of God in this generation, the king of all Israel, Bishop Bobby Joe Davis. Being thankful for our queen, evangelist of the bride, Mother Gloria Davis. Being thankful for our overseer, Bishop Flanders Carswell Jr. And truly, truly just being thankful for every member of the spiritual Israel church in Siren and Israel the world over. Let's give Israel a cheer. And uh, thankful to be here this evening at Pontiac's 58th annual day program. 
Uh, thankful to the pastor here, Pontiac, assistant pastor, all those that worked, trustee, uh, chairman of the deacon board, all those that worked to make this program a success. Thankful all the bishops and pastors that are out today to support the pastor of Pontiac. And thankful each and every one of you, some, some of you come pretty good distance to be here. Uh, but we all we got, Israel. So it's beautiful when we come together and fellowship spiritually and naturally to lift each other up. So I'm not going to continue for long the time. The king is here. So uh, be ready to receive the word of deliverance that you need to enjoy your living. At this time, I ask you to receive the overseer of the Spiritual Israel Church Assembly, Bishop Flanders Carswell Jr. Let's give him a cheer. All right, let's give honor to the Holy Father, King of Let's give it all honor and praise to the Most High God, other than the great and mighty God of Israel. It's an honor and a pleasure just to be right here in the city of Pontiac, Michigan, at this amazing 58th annual program. We're standing on some great shoulders, yes, Israel. Yes, the ones that came before us that made it possible for us to be right here today. You know, a lot of work and sweat has went in to be where we at today. From the little bitty storefront places to the dinners and the oil that was done, they did it. That today we can be here and in prayers and enjoy the great and mighty God of Israel. It's always an honor and a pleasure to be in the midst of the King of Israel and our Queen. And we thank you for each and every pastor and everybody that's came out. We have had some service this weekend. And I want to say, like Saturday, boy, the Singleton family. I wish we just had been a live recording. We, that would have been something we could sell. But they really sung. We thanked him for coming. And we thank for the visit of his spirit this morning. Yeah. We had a good time. A nice crowd was out. But we have the man of God here today. Are y'all ready? Yeah. Are y'all ready to receive him? At the 58th annual Pontiac Day, our main speaker, the King of Israel. We're not going to put on the time because he's here and he's ready. So we're going to ask temple number one to come and sing for the king. And I'm going to come back and wave my hand. We're going to stand and greet Bishop Bobby Joe Davis. Let us hear from temple number one. Look at all these Amos 9 sevens. Let's get them mad as they come on up. We rise to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. And ain't no use. Nobody's gonna turn me around. No, no. It ain't no use. No, nobody. Nobody. No, no. Don't you know that my mind? My mind is made up. Mind is made up. You know it ain't no use. No, nobody. Nobody. Nobody, no, it ain't no use, no, nobody, nobody, tell them that your mind, my mind, my mind is made up, oh Robert, you know it ain't no use, no, nobody, nobody, I've been tempted and I've been tried ever since I've been born. Yeah. I'm so tired, I give we let know that I'm one. Yeah. I've been up so many times, I've been down. Yeah. You know it ain't no use, no, nobody, nobody. No, it ain't no use, no, nobody, nobody. 
nobody no it ain't no use no nobody nobody can get to me your mind is made up you know it ain't no use no nobody come on y'all nobody oh, people talk Talk about me all over this land. Yeah, yeah. Why they talk about us so bad? We don't understand. Yeah, yeah. Or we just tried to live our life just as humble as we can. Oh, you know it ain't no use. No. No. I mean it from my heart. No, it ain't no use. No. Nobody. Tell them this or tell them that you're mad. Hey, yeah. You know it ain't no use. No, nobody. Nobody. No, it ain't no use. No. Nobody, no, it ain't no use, no. Nobody, tell them that you're mine. My mind is made up. You know it ain't no use, no. Nobody, nobody, nobody. Shout, say nobody. Shout, say nobody. Shout, can't let nobody. They ain't gonna let nobody. Oh, no, 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 no. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, which is the God of Israel, that lives in each and every one of us. Amen. Thank him for our overseer. And you had a wonderful time this morning. Yeah, yeah. Our assistant overseer, our queen. Amen. Amen. Uh, all, all of you. Amen. Amen. All Israel. As Bishop Hayward says, some of the deals and some trying to be. Amen. All right. But it's been long enough for y'all to know what you are. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We thank him for our beautiful theme we got this for this month. At least it ain't talking about that prophet. <laughs> yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. oh. It's it talking about whom he called. Yeah. Amen. And, and you ought to say, I'm one of them. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Unless you're not hearing his voice. Yeah. Amen. We're thanking him for the beautiful program, the pastor here and all the members. Uh, the, the 58th annual, as Bishop said, we're standing on great shoulders. Right. Yeah. Uh, that laid down their life in service to the God of Israel. Amen. Yeah. 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 That's why we're here. Because somebody was here before we were. Amen. And we may not have understood them right. why they lived. Yes, Amen. And had our thoughts about it. Yeah. Amen. But that was your thoughts. Yeah. Amen. God was in the plan. Yeah. Amen. And, and that's why we're here today. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And we thank the God with the for that. Uh, uh, Bishop Sidney and thank you, Molly, a lot of them back in the day yeah. that, that, we, that we stand on their shoulders. Yeah. Amen. And, uh, I ain't planning on going back. Yeah. I, I, I'm glad to see Mother Amelia and TV and all the men. I'm I, I, I always, 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 uh, always, uh, always, always pick on uh, Sister Sharon. I ain't gonna pick on her today. I'm gonna pick on Madam Geraldine. Amen. All 
right. Because listen, listen, listen. Uh, she sang a song that we all can be a witness to. Unless we 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 um, got coward. And that song is I come too far. Yeah. Somebody can be a witness. Amen. Amen. Love Lord one along the way. Amen. Ups and downs along the way. Self righteousness along the way. Hypocrites along the way. Amen. Blessings along the way. Amen. But I'm still here. And since I'm here, I come too far to turn around. Amen. I can remember some good times. And some sad times. Some up times. And some down times. But still, I come too far to turn around. Amen. Call by the God of Israel. Right. Amen. Yes, and I can speak for myself. I'm one of them. Yes, Amen. And I'm looking for people that's consistent yes, as I am. Y'all right. yeah. hear me? Yes, I don't want you to be consistent as God is because you don't know God yes, unless you know him as somebody. All right. All right. Amen. All right. I like what Bishop Beaver left here for us. What body was he in? <laughs> Amen. I said, I'm looking for some consistent people. Amen. That could go on and on and on. Through it all. But you're going to go through some challenges in your life. Amen. But the more challenges you face, the more stronger you ought to be. Amen. Amen. And not so easy to give up. Uh, uh, some of y'all got opinions ain't worth a dime. What you think the church ought to be, uh, what this person ought to be? Don't think you got to worry about what you ought to be. Amen. Y'all might not shout on this one. <laughs> Amen. But I'm looking for a people, a church where I spot a wiggle. Amen. What you mean? You, you, you're walking in so much light, you don't see no darkness. Because you're walking in the light. <laughs> Amen. And if you're walking in the light, darkness can't comprehend you. And then you want nobody to stop you. Amen. Because you come too far to turn around. And let me let sing that song while, I, while I'm, while I'm on, on it. <laughs> Amen. Come on here, mother, sister. Sing that song for us. Amen. Can I stay back here? Can I stay here? Can I not come up? Huh? Can I sing it back here? Why? Run <laughs> <laughs> yeah. your heart, not your gummy. <laughs> Amen. Let's sing that song. Amen. Amen. Sing it for them. All right, we're going to help you. Yeah. Thanking and praising the great and almighty God. Yeah. But just being great. here. And um, I don't never really come to sing. That's all right. And, and you know that. <laughs> I'm really a talker. But um, I'm going to ask everybody to help me sing this song. Oh, yeah. yeah. Because truly I have come too far. Yeah. And I know somebody know what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Lord, that I have to uh, come on, girl, sing it.
sing it. Sing it. Sing in a mighty long time. Oh, yes, I have. too far to turn around. Amen. I, I like I like it part I like it part when you say I'm going on. <laughs> Amen. Amen. I also like it part that I, I had a mother that wanted me to go on. <laughs> Amen. So, so did I. Amen. I'm thanking the God for that beautiful song. I hope I hope that's a song that marinates in your spirit for a long time. Amen. Especially when you think you're weak. Amen. That you come too far to turn around, especially when sickness and things messing with you. Yeah, yeah. You remember that song, yeah. Yeah, man.
Especially when you get hot and full of hell, you remember that song. Amen. Amen. Especially when you're happy, you remember that song. Amen. That I come too far to turn around. And do you know? Do, do you know there's something they want to stop you? Amen. Do you know that there are, there are dimensionals that want to pull you down? Amen. Amen. But you but but, but you got to fight yourself. Amen. Amen. To stand up and, and, and be a soldier for the God of Israel. Amen. Uh, it's time. We, we glad we glad for the pastor here and all the members here again. Amen. And all the ones that uh, ain't been coming, come on back to church. Amen. You, you, you ain't hung out long enough. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Say amen. Amen. Yeah. amen. One, one thing about it, you're going to come back one way or another. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It's time. Yeah. You, know, you, know, you know ain't no God out there in no sky. God is in you. Yeah. We, we've been taught that, right? Yeah. Amen. And we, and we certainly don't serve no white Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. I don't guess. Some of them left Israel and, and went to hollering about Jesus again. Amen. But you know Jesus was an Israelite. You can't get away from Israel. Unless you get you another Bible. Amen. And if you get you a Muslim Bible, they, they agree that Israel is God's people. Amen. They, they, they just think that after Jesus finished, Muhammad come on the scene. Amen. But they believe that the people of God was Israel too. Amen. Amen. But what I'm telling you, we ain't worried about it. Muhammad is done and Jesus is done. Amen. But a man came in our generation named Derryfield and Dixon and Tumpkin and Haywood and Wiley, and here I am, crying the same thing. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one, Lord. Amen. God ain't changed. Only, only difference is the body change. Amen. Therefore, give me a second, John 7 8. We ain't going to be here too long. Amen. Just long enough. Amen. Uh, and from there, we want to go to uh, St. John 7 through 8, St. John 5 39. Romans 15 and 4. Thanks for my teacher. That it is in grace. Amen. I met God walking and talking to the body. And that body and name was the grace. Amen. But he had the spirit of the living God in him. Amen. And he gave me the words. Amen. And he deposited them in me along with other folks that I met along the way. Amen. He didn't have it all. He had enough. Amen. To get me started. Amen. Then from there, I want to go to our lesson. I think it's St. Matthew. Uh, Fifth chapter. We're gonna hit it a little bit, and then let you go. Let's uh, start the the, the subject is what? Name, go back, go about three verses, four verses from the subject, and come down, and then we'll we'll get through that way. Any visitors in the church? Don't blow on the Israel. Amen. We thank God for you. Amen. If there is one, uh, we we see you at Israel anyway. Amen. You just gotta make a commitment. And those of you that, that know you, Israel, you ought to make a commitment yourself. Amen. Some, some, some of them need to join the church again. <laughs> Amen. And, and reconnect to, to the God that you serve. And that's the God of Israel. Amen. I ain't sugarcoating it. Amen. That's over with me. Amen. You either do it or you don't. Amen. Isn't that right? Amen. Therefore, we teach in Israel. Listen, our teaching is different. And I say this over and over again because sometimes we need to repeat things lest we forget. And some of us need to go back and start re reinventing our doctrine into our sermon so we, our children can get it as well as some of the older folks. Amen. Because if we don't, if we don't keep re 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 renewing ourselves, we'll forget ourselves. Yeah. Knowing a whole bunch of scripture and don't know how to put it together ain't worth a dime. <laughs> hey. Amen. Y'all hear me? Yes, Amen. We got, we got to be teachers of men and women. Amen. All right? Amen. Y'all hear me? Amen. I ain't talking to your mouth no way. Uh -huh. Therefore, he was saying what now? Whoever that believe on who? Me. Jesus. Me. You, ain't, you ain't seen no Jesus. You see me. Amen. Jesus told me, it's written that he said in St. John 3, 11, speak what you know. And test about what you've seen. What have you seen? I know what you've seen. You've seen God walking in the body. Amen. Ain't that right? Amen. Speak what you know and tell about that you've seen. Amen. That's what he said what now? Believe on me. 
Similarity, similarity as the scripture said. The script, wait a minute, the scripture got to be explained according to our teaching. If you read this Bible up straight out, you'll you, 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 you wind up being a Christian. Amen. If, if you read it like it is, amen, you got to explain what it's talking about. Amen. If, if, you read, if you talk about Jesus back in that day, you talk about it back in that day and bring it home. Amen. Y'all hear me? Yeah, I know you do. Amen. I got a big mouth. All right, let's go. If you believe it, out of you shall flow. And you ain't got to put it in your belly, your head, your mind, nowhere. Just say out of you. That's good enough, ain't it? Amen. You don't know what? God might want to use your feet. Amen. If you believe on me, as the scripture said, out of you shall flow. Rivers of living water. And we're teaching the other that's peace and joy, health and happiness and prosperity and love. Y'all heard that before? Yeah. Amen. We are rejoicing in what we got. If we, don't, if, we don't, if we don't value what we got, who will? If we don't care about our teaching, who will? Nobody else don't care about our teaching. We got to manifest today in our generation of time. Ain't that right? Yeah, yeah I know it is. All right, let's go. So I said, who? I want you, you believe on me according to the scripture, that's what they said back yonder. And I'm standing up here. And back yonder they said in Jesus' day, search the scriptures. But in those scriptures, they think they got it. And they're still thinking they got it. But it ain't in the letter. It's in the spirit. And Jesus, when he came on the scene, he told me St. John 63, it's written that he said, it's the spirit that makes you alive. Quicken it means makes you alive. When the spirit leave you, we're going to bury you. As long as the spirit is in you, you can be alive. It's the spirit that quickens it. Flesh promises you nothing. The what? Now, you know what happened to some folks? They got the flesh and didn't get the word. Amen. And by getting the flesh and not, not the word, when the flesh kind of went different or left him, they left with it. Amen. But you got to get the spirit of it, the words. It's the spirit that quick and the flesh prophet you nothing. The words that I'm speaking to you. These words are spirit and these words are life to you. If you got the word, you got life. If you got life, you got the spirit. You can't separate them. Amen. Therefore, say what? That's the scriptures. In those scriptures, you think you got it. They are there to testify of me, but you won't come to me. Well, that was talking about Jesus back in that generation. I'm talking about me in this generation. Back in Jesus' generation, let's find out where Jesus was. Matthew 15, 24. Jesus answered said to him back then, I'm not sent, but to the lost sheep. Jesus said that years ago, they read, right? Now in 24, I'm saying it. I'm not sent, but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Amen. Let's see what Jesus sent his disciples back in that day. Matthew 10, 5 and 6. These 12 Jesus sent for. And he commanded them saying, don't go anywhere the number of believers. Number Gentile ain't just white folks. You're probably black folks too. Brown folks. Yellow folks too, if you got any. Amen. A non-believer is just a non-believer regardless of what color you in. Amen. And Jesus told me in that generation, these 12 Jesus sent forth and commanded them saying, He didn't beg them. He didn't beg them. I ain't begging either. Time out for begging. Begging grown folks. You know what you want to do. You either do it or you don't do it. Amen. What? Don't go into the people that serve the idol, idol worshippers. The Samar Samaritan was the first one to introduce idol worship in Israel. Amen. So don't go that way either. Because people worship in idols. But do what? But go rather to the lost sheep. House of who? Now listen, there was no Baptist church back in that generation. There was no Methodist church in that generation. There was none of them Christian. They are in this generation. So when Jesus told him, it's written that he said back in that generation, go relic, go relic, go not in the way of the Gentile, any Samaritan, any not, but go relic to the lost sheep, how the Israel. There was no Baptist Methodist in that generation. So he wasn't talking about them. But in this generation, I am. And Jesus told his disciples then, he commanded his disciples, don't go in that way. And don't go in the idol which was either. 
If you, know, if you go into idol worship, people get you serving idols. Amen. Amen. That's what happened to Israel back in that generation. Amen. You know, what the bad part is, some of the, some of the kings and different ones married these strange wives and try to please some woman who nothing they God. Amen. And brought idol worship in Israel. Amen. If you ain't careful, you get hooked up with somebody that bring it. Amen. So Jesus told him, back in, don't go that way. He said, go, go to the lost sheep in the house of Israel. That's what they said Jesus said. Today I'm saying that. Don't go anywhere to the non believer. Amen. Don't go to the uh, idol worshippers. But go rather to the lost sheep to the house of Israel. Who is Israel? God's people. That's us, ain't it? Yeah. Amen. Amen. All right, let's go. Because what's that thing written a long time ago? Written for us to go back there. Do you know we put more emphasis on back yonder than do here? Yeah. Know all kind of Bible story. And don't know, know your own story. You know what Abraham did, Jacob did, Jonah did, and everybody else did. Well, what, what did the man you met do in your generation? What did they tell you when you got here? Y'all hear me? It's all right knowing, that, knowing all this stuff. I know a lot of it too. But lot, some of it just don't make no sense now. Amen. Because it, don't, it, don't, it ain't no saving power in it. The saving power is right here. Amen. I met a man in my day. I didn't meet Abraham. I didn't meet Jacob either. And I didn't meet Jesus. I met everything grace. And I can talk what I know. Amen. And you can too, can't you? Who do you meet? Amen. You met Foster, didn't you? Amen. You met Mother Rose, didn't you? Amen. You met Mr. Hale, didn't you? Yes, you met your daddy, didn't you? Yes, you met Mr. Cox, didn't you? Yes, Talk what you know. Yes, Amen. And okay. tell us about what you seen. Yes, Amen. I seen the, the sick being healed. Yes, Amen. Yes, I seen people that were down got raised up. Yes, Amen. Yes, I seen people that didn't know anything but had the power of the God of really in them. Yes, I seen a whole lot of things. Yes, Amen. Yes, and I ain't got to use the Bible to prove it either. I can speak what I know. Yeah. Amen. Tell us about what I've seen. Yeah. What have you seen? Yeah. And what do you know? Yeah. Amen. And the people that taught you, you ought to be ashamed to let that teaching fall to the ground. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Okay, let's go. What's that thing written a long time ago? Yeah. Refers to what? Yeah. You shouldn't be no weak person. You should be strong in your God and your faith. Y'all hear me? Somebody hurt your feelings. And how long are you going to stay hurt? All your life? They done me wrong. Well, well, how, why are you keeping it? Sometimes the people that done you wrong are dead gone. And you still hold on to it. Amen. Sweet Israel. <laughs> Let's go. We're too patient. Comfort are these what? Of what we read and also what we hear. Might have hope in what's going on in our lives today. Amen. Amen. What happened back yonder was back yonder, but it's a day you hear my voice, harden not your heart. Amen. Therefore, it said what? Whoa. Now we're talking about Jesus' day, right? You talking to the disciples and his mother too. Amen. We're going to read about what he talked about and we're going to bring it up here. We ain't going to stay back there. Amen. We're just reading a story back there of, of, of their relationship to the God of Israel back then. But we got a relationship with the God of Israel ourselves, don't we? Yeah. Amen. To me, it means a lot more to me than it did to them back then. Because I don't know what they feel, but I know what I feel. Right. Yeah, Amen. All right. All right. Our doctrine should not be so mysterious you can't feel it. Yeah. You can't relate to it. Yeah. Yeah, Amen. Right. Don't you think? If you say God is a comforter, can, has he comforted anybody here? Oh, yeah. If you say God is a, is a, is a, is a burden bearer, have you bad your burden? Oh, yeah. Can anybody be a witness yeah. of what he's done for you in your generation? Oh, yeah. Do you really need Jesus to tell you about it or can you talk about it? Oh, yeah. Amen. Oh, yeah. This is only a witness. But you've got a witness in yourself. Yeah. All right, let's, let's go. Bless out of who? 
Humble, humble. Blessed are the meek. Do what? Well, look, I got a choice to make. I can be meek or be big headed. Right, right. It didn't say what the big headed going to do, but it said what the meek going to inherit. It. Yeah. Which one you want to be? Yeah. I want the earth. Yeah. That means I got to be meek and humble yeah. and submission to the God of Israel even, in people. Amen. Right. Amen. That don't mean you let people run over you. Amen. That's, that's a guy with a meek spirit. Right. Amen. And, 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 and the spirit you got will draw people away from you. Amen. Y'all hear me? Love will draw you or drive you. Amen. What? Bless all the meek, but they shall inherit the earth. I, wait a minute. I want the earth. So that means I got to be meek. I'm a spirit. What? Bless our day. Do you want it? Do you want these words? Do you want the God in your life? Yes. You blessed are they if you want it, the hunger and thirst after wrongdoing. Well, why are we trying to look for something wrong then? Trying to find something wrong. We probably thirsting after what's right in this, right? And you start with yourself. Amen. Blessed are they with thirst and hunger after righteousness. They shall be what? If you're looking for it, God will give it to you. But you got to be thirsting for the right thing. And you shall be filled. That's a promise, ain't it? What does it say? Bless our who? Kill them. Kill them. No, you got to be merciful. And if you if you if you merciful, God will show mercy on you. He said, "Blessed are the merciful." Don't you want it? But then you got to give it. Yeah, man. Look at all those all those great promises we got. If we do one thing, we'll get the other. Blessed are the merciful, for we shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart. Be real, be real with your, your faith toward God. Amen. Blessed are the pure in heart. They shall what? I see him. <laughs> don't you see him? If you don't see God, what are you looking at? And what are you looking for? We ought to look for the God, right? Amen. Amen. Oh, let, let that soak in. Because you, your eyes got to be single. You got to be full of light. If your eyes are full of light, you won't see no darkness. Y'all hear me? Even if darkness is around you, you won't see it. it. It won't affect you. You won't walk in the darkness, you'll walk in the light. But if your eye is, is full of darkness, that's all you're going to see. Amen. And you're going to never see God because you're seeing darkness. Best out of what? Pure and hard. Well, best, best, best out of pure and hard, for they shall see what? They shall see God. Amen. Yeah, what? Best out of who? Breakers. What it does, it gives you options, it gives you choices. And you and I got to choose the choice we want. Blessed are the peacemakers. But they shall be called the children of God. They're going to be called what? The children of God. Which one you want to be called? Children of God. Children of God or Hellraiser? <laughs> See, it's up to you, ain't it? Yeah. It's up to me and it's up to you. You got the power. We all got the power to choose. That's one thing God gave us, the power of choice. Blessed are the peacemakers, but they shall be called. The children of what? Yeah, now you can run your own self. All right. How you been acting? If you've been acting raised hell, you've been called a hell raiser. Amen. If you've been doing good and trying to get along with everybody, then you're a peacemaker. All right. All Amen. Right. And you shall be called a children of God of Israel. Yeah. Amen. And then don't we just say it, you'll be demonstrating it. That's all the peacemakers, but they shall be called the children of God. And that's what we want. Yeah. Peacemaker. Yeah, Amen. What? Sometimes you make peace by keeping your mouth shut. You ain't got to tell everything you know. What's wrong with you? What? Blessed are they. Who shall persecute it? For righteousness sake. Don't worry about if folks persecute you. You're doing right. Keep on doing it. Because you got a reward coming. Amen. Right? 
Look at all these good things we, we, we got coming to us if we do the right thing. But, but the choice is ours, ain't it? What? Now, this is Jesus, this is Jesus teaching. He taught his disciples and the, and the mother too. Well, I'm sick teaching the same thing. We are, ain't we, ain't we, ain't we preachers? What? Blessed are ye. When men shall revile you. When men shall go against, go against you. And persecute you. And say all men are evil against you. Falsely. For what? Oh, now I want to make it personal now. That was Jesus. And he was a teacher. He was a prophet in that generation. And he told them back down, you are blessed if you persecute the righteous, falsely for my name's sake. He was talking about him. Now I'm going to say the same thing up here. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you that persecute and righteous, for, falsely for my name's sake. Amen. Because you follow in Bishop Bobby. Amen. Amen. You sure gonna be doing it if you talk too much about me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's, right. That's all right. I've been through that already myself. Right. Yeah, man. Yeah. We're trying to make Bishop Bobby a God. I ain't never told about I was God. Right. Yeah. One thing about it, I'm the son of God. Right. Yeah, man. Right. And I'm the one that God sent to left to lead here, right. lead Israel today. Right. Yeah, man. Right. And before me, there was somebody. If I leave here, there's gonna be somebody. Right. You can't stop this God. Amen. Ain't that right? Amen. But if, if you believe it in our teaching, like, like it really should, people are going to persecute you. They're going to solve everything against you because they don't understand what you believe. That's why we got to teach them always. We got to be a teacher and not always a preacher. Amen. What else it say? Re do what? Rejoice. Don't worry about it if they talk about you. Rejoice. And be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven, in you, in you. But so persecuted, you ain't the only one that got persecuted. Right. They were persecuting people before you. Right, right. If you leave here, they're going to be persecuting people after you. Right. Amen. Right. So you ain't the first one to get persecuted. Right. You ain't the first one to get talked about. Right. You ain't the first one only one been, been down. Right. Amen. There's, all, there's a lot of people been down. Right. But, but you got to get up. And keep on fighting for the God of Israel. Amen. And, and, and do as that song said, I come too far to turn around. Amen. What does it say? You are the what? You are the one that give righteousness and favor to things, to people. We put in rich people's lives. Because we are the salt of the earth. What do you do with salt? You put it on meat. You season it, don't you? We are, we are the, these words we got ought to be able to season people and help them out. Amen. Turn their life around. Ain't that right? Because we are the salt of the earth. Amen. What? But we don't lost it. We don't lost the thing that we God's words, I said this way. What? How can we help somebody if we are lost it ourselves? How can you convince other people to believe and you don't believe? Yeah, man. How can how can you hang tough and and, and, and uh, ask people to hang tough and you ain't hanging tough? Yeah, man. That's why I'm looking for some consistent people. Amen. I don't care what's going on. Be consistent in your belief. Be consistent in your attendance services. Be consistent in your love toward the God of Israel. And never turn around and turn back. Amen. I ain't, tell you, I ain't tell you to do something that I ain't doing. Amen. You, be, you follow me as I follow the God of Israel. How about that? I ain't going to tell you to follow Jesus because you don't see him. Amen. If you, if you knew he was in me, maybe you see that. <laughs> what does it say? It's good for what? Nothing. I'm an Israelite. And don't believe it. You're good for nothing. Yeah, Amen. That's tough, ain't it? It's tight, but it's right. You got to be consistent. Right? I believe the God of Israel. Well, where were you in Sunday morning? They. Ain't no they, it's you. Yeah, Amen. How'd that sound? That sounds good. Y'all gonna throw stones at me, are you? <laughs> I'm getting ready to get through. Amen. But chosen by the God of Israel. Will you answer the call? The son says, if the Lord needs somebody, will you say, here am I? You understand? 
time is now. Stand up and be counted. The time is now for us to rise, raise up, and be that nation that God is calling for in this generation. The wait period is over. The time is now to serve the God of Israel. The time is now to be fully committed to the God of Israel. I ain't talking about at home either. I'm talking about at church. I'm, I'm committed to the God of Israel looking at Zoom. If, if, if there ain't nothing wrong with you, you ought to be in church. Zoom is for people that can't come to church. Amen. I got to hit that every now and then. People think it's okay. I'm going to stay home and look at Zoom. If, if you ain't sick, cripple, crazy, blind, whoever, you ought to be at church. Amen. Y'all know I'm telling you the truth. Excuses. Yeah, Amen. Ain't no excuse. I don't give myself none. I sure ain't gonna give none of y'all none. Yeah, Amen. I'm gonna stay at home and look at the other grace on Zoom. <laughs> Go and look at the other grace's face. Unless something wrong with you. Right? And you know, people got to the point that they, they, they don't matter no more. I don't matter. I go to church. I, what's wrong with you? Suppose God do that to you. Well, I'm going to take a little breath from him. <laughs> what you going to do then? Amen. All right? All right. So we want strong, strong soldiers. No longer can we, can we be complacent. And it just anything goes. Yeah. I I come when I get ready. I, yeah. yeah. I, I'm tired. Well, yeah, God didn't get you tired. Go, go to bed. And, and when you get there, get some sleep. Yeah, man. You know why? Because he's calling you. Whom God called. Hey, Israel. And you all say, here I am. Yeah. Amen. Instead, you're home sitting there that way. Well, I'm going to go next week. What's wrong with this week? When I get right, I'm going to church. You ain't going to never come to church. Amen. You know, some people tell me, well, I didn't heard it all before. That's what's wrong with you. I didn't hear it too much. Amen. And there's people, there's people that know all about the God of the river, but they got too much God to come to church. I ain't going to tell you what you got, but you do have something, though. Amen. Well, I know it sounds sweet to you, but so, I got to tell you. Amen. And, and you can't get too good that it's Okay. You got to consistently tend your services, come to church, praise the God of the river. You got to consistently oil your vessel with the spirit of the God of the river. If you don't continue, you'll get dry. And there's a lot of dry folks in Israel. Amen. And some of them come to church every Sunday, but they dry. Because they don't want to activate their faith. They don't forgot where you come from. Amen. They don't forgot what he's done for you. Amen. So that means if, if, you, if you all remember what it is, you all will be activated. I'll be happy. I'll be, I'll be ready to go. Yeah. Amen. If, if I go, send me, I'll go. Yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah. If you want me to sing, I'll sing. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Why? Because I know what he's done for me. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. We are here because he's done something for us, right? Amen. All right. That's, that's it. That should be enough. Read one more. Do what? You're going to be cast out sometime? And you're going to be tried underfoot sometime. People ain't going to like you. They're going to talk about you. They're going to say you're crazy. They're going to say you're too churchy. They're going to say all these things about you. But you hold your head up high and keep on going. Because you got a reward from the God of Israel. Amen. Don't you think? Yeah. We, we got we, we, we to pray. Who else going to do it? We going to do it, ain't we? Amen. All right. Okay. Shut the book. Ain't, ain't no visitor here, is it? Ain't no. Well, I tell you what. I tell you what.
How y'all like me now? <laughs> Amen. Look, it's, it's time, it's time out to, to try to be weak. If you, get, if you get knocked down, get up. What are you laying down for? If you get disappointed, get reappointed. Any, any, any time for that now? Yeah, man. Ain't but a few of us in the first place. We can't afford to lose nobody. And all the ones out there, come on back home. You got a home to come to. Yeah, man. But you got to humble yourself. He said the meek shall inherit the earth. Yeah, man. All right. All right. Come on, come on, come on now. Don't you want to go? The train is at the station. Don't you want to go? Yeah. Amen. Is there any, is it's is, 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 is a visiting church? It is? Well, we, we, we believe in Israelites, right? Don't we? We believe that the so-called black men in America are the Israelites. Right? We was cut off from being a, a name, had a name that God gave us, and that name is Israel. Right? I ain't going to take no long time, but Jesus was an Israelite. If you love Jesus, you love what he had. Moses was an Israelite. David was an Israelite. We Israelites. We are the only people that fits the description of a bunch of people going across a large body of water and slaves on a ship. Who did that? The so-called black men in the Western Hemisphere. We are the Israelites today. Amen. And that's our spiritual name. Baptists and Methodists and Catholic and Sanctified and Church of God in Christ, those names wasn't in the Bible. But the name that's in the Bible is Israel. God's people is Israel. Ain't that right? I, I believe the Bible. Well, why don't you believe you're Israel right then? Why didn't you know it? Because they didn't teach you. They taught you a Christian religion. In fact, they taught you condemnation because they told you that you ain't nothing but a dirty sinner. Amen. And you had to pray to this white Jesus in order to get saved. Or you got to believe that he died for your sin. Amen. Yeah, well, why are you still sinning? Does that make it all right now since he's trying to die for you? Amen. Yeah, if he died for your sin, why are people still dying? It wasn't like that. Yeah, man. He brought the truth back in that generation. Yeah, man. And now we're bringing the truth in this generation. And the truth is, you are God's people. Amen. And your spiritual name is Israel. I used to be a Baptist because that's all I knew. Until I met the man of God and he told me who I was spiritually so. Now I know who I am. I'm an Israelite. Amen. I'm one of God's people. According to the Bible, God's people was named Israel. And if I say I'm one of God's people, I shouldn't, I, I, I should be all right with the name Israel. Shouldn't we? Amen. Isaiah 4, 5, and 6. Once you say, I belong to God. You got something else to do. And another one. You still got something to do. And another one. Now you're going to do something. You scout your hand to the Lord. Change your name. I'm the Lord today. I thought Jesus was the Lord. He was. We don't take nothing from Jesus. We got, we got to explain how Jesus relates to us in this generation. We ain't trying to destroy Jesus, what they did back yonder. Right. But you can't live back in that day. No. You live in your own day. Right. And that same God and spirit that was in Jesus is in you and I today. Right. And that, and you can't go back there and live in somebody else's day. You can't even live in your dead mama's day. No. You got to live in your own day. No. Ain't that right? Yeah. So ain't nothing wrong with Jesus. What was wrong is taught it wrong. Yeah. And they lied to us. They made him God, and he never was God. He was the son of God. He was sent by God. He prayed to God. And they say he sat on the right hand of God. If, they, if he on the right hand of God and he prayed to God, he can't be God. But he was one sent by God. And God sent him with the words. Amen. To the children of Israel. He was preaching priests. Amen. By a man called Jesus, according to the scripture, Amen. Because I don't know. I wasn't back there. But I can't read the scripture, what they said. Amen. But in this generation, we believe that God always has somebody to teach his people. Amen. And 
be like me. Amen. And we teach you that you are an Israelite. That's your spiritual name. I know they say you was a Christian, but God didn't call you no Christian. God didn't call you a Baptist. God didn't call you a Methodist. God didn't call you a sanctified. He sanctified you, but he didn't call you a sanctified. Amen. He called you an Israelite. That's our spiritual name, right? What are you? I'm a Christian. You ain't no Christian. You're an Israelite. Chris, I think Christian is mentioned three times in the Bible. And God didn't do it. God called his people Israel. What? Lord said it. King of Israel. His redeemer. Lord of hosts. He's the first one. Last one. Beside this God. What? If beside the God, there is no God, what is people worshiping? A false vision. A thing or not. not. Deceit of somebody's heart. But they, 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 were, they were deceitful and told you to worship some guy named Jesus. You ain't never seen them. Amen. And, and you're waiting on them to come back again. Amen. He ain't never went nowhere. Spiritually so. Amen. What does it say? I wouldn't have brethren. Don't be ignorant, which means you don't know. You, you ain't got to be ignorant anymore because we tell you the truth. Let you be wise in your own conceit. Look, look, look. You, don't be, don't, don't be, make the same mistake I made. When I heard the man of God, I was trying to protect Roger Williams. What do you mean? Roger Williams started the Baptist Church in America, and I got mad at the great trying to protect Roger Williams. Because I thought he was trying to take my Jesus from me. He was trying to give him to me. And I, 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 I rebuffed him because I was protecting somebody else's teaching. I wasn't no Baptist. That was Roger Williams started that church. First Baptist Church in America started by Roger Williams. And I was in there, so I was in Roger Williams Church. And I was trying to fight, fight him standing up for Roger Williams. Amen. I was wrong in two left shoes. Amen. But I got the shoes now. Amen. <laughs> now I'm riding two right shoes. We're Israel today, right? We ain't ashamed of being Israel, are we? Ain't gonna be but a few of us. Don't you understand that? If, if, if the story is true about Noah and it's gonna rain in the boat, get but a few people get on. Out of all them people, get but a few get on. Out of all these people, in, ain't but a few gonna accept the truth. Will you be one of them? Oh, yeah. Amen. What does it say? Mind is in part. It's happened to Israel. Until the number of believers go out there. We ain't got to go out there. We got, we got it here. My power is right here. I ain't got no power in no Baptist church. My power is right here in the spiritual church of the Amen. You come in here, you get whooped. Amen. And I'm not trying to assimilate with them either. I ain't trying to be like them. I want to be like the God of Israel wants us to be. Amen. Right? Call me crazy if you want to. I'm a crazy Israelite then. Amen. What? Saul who? Here's the catch of all Israel. Said be what? Do you want to be saved? Yeah. Bible said all who? Well, suppose you don't want to be Israel. Watch out. What? It's written in the Bible that God gave his a people a name, and that name is Israel. Yeah. What does it say? God gonna send a deliverer to you. What that what that person gonna do? Deliver you the words. What? Turn a guy from your old fleshly mind itself. What's the next one there? Who? You and I shouldn't be ashamed. They they should be ashamed. And also confounded. All of them. They should go to confuse together. Are you confused, Israel? About your teaching? We ain't confused, are we? We happy about what we got. Ain't that right? Yeah, man. When people come among you, y'all will see your happiness in Israel. Yeah, I'm an Israelite. And not unsure. Amen. Read on. But who? Israel. Shall be saved in the Lord. Everlasting salvation. You ain't got to be ashamed. You ain't got to be confused about it. 
You ain't got to try to be dying and go nowhere. You can live them for God right now. Yeah. Don't we want to live now? Yeah, we want to live now. I mean, regardless of, hey, if you, if you got to cut my arm off or live, cut it off. I want to stay here. Yeah. Amen, right? Yeah. I got to be in a wheelchair. Give me, give me one. Yeah. Roll me around, baby. Yeah. I want to live. Yeah. Amen. Ain't that right? True. Yeah. 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 Maybe I live long enough, I grow another arm. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> Amen. All right. The monkey believe God meant what he said, said what he meant. Amen. Now, look, I'm, it'd be comical, but I'm serious. I'm serious about our teaching. You know, and about what we, what we believe in Israel. And we got to protect it at all costs. Y'all hear me? Yeah. Amen. All right. And one can believe God meant what he said, said what he meant, and one become a member of the spiritual church army and wear the name that God wanted you to wear in the first place, and that name is Israel. Wait a minute. Why didn't I know it? Pastors didn't teach us. That's the only reason we didn't know it. They didn't teach us who we were. If they had taught us who we were a long time ago, we were Israel already. But they didn't teach us God's doctrine. They taught us their own. Amen. One can believe God meant what he said, said what it meant. Come and give me your hand. And so name yourself by the name of Israel, according to the scripture. Let's sing. Hurry. Won't you come? Won't you come? Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. May God bless you. In a visitor, like how can you say how you enjoy yourself? Truth is yours. In a visitor, we don't always expect you to understand the first time you hear it. Amen. Because our teaching can be controversial when it's compared to other teachings. Y'all hear me? Yes. You got to dare to be different. Because our teaching, our teaching is different. Yes. Amen. And I'm glad about it too. I don't mean I don't mind being different. Amen. Amen. All right. Any visitor? If not, we thank God for you. Keep on coming back. Yeah. We, 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 we okay. We okay, people. Yeah. Amen. We, 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 we talk bad because we are bad. Yeah. <laughs> but 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 we really okay, you know. Yeah. Hey, we we all we all right. <laughs> we all right anyway. Yeah, all right. Amen. Amen. But we, but we, but we, 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 we stand up for what we believe in. And listen, Israel, if you don't stand what we believe in, it, it get weaker and weaker and weaker. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's time now to stand up for what we believe in. Amen. And, 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 teach, and our doctrinal teaching got to be retaught, retaught. Amen. So these babies can get it. Amen. All right? Okay. May God bless you. We thank God for you. Y'all clapping because y'all glad I'm through? Y'all clapping because y'all glad I'm through? But daddy said, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I'm through. Back in hands, I always see And we'll come back to you and say a prayer at the end. All right? Yes. May God bless you. May he keep you. Continue to be strong, Israel. We love you. And want the best for you. We all, we all have been called by the God of Israel. And each one of us got a particular calling unique to ourselves. Y'all hear me? You wasn't called to be the king. I was. Right, right. But, but, but you was called to be something else. Amen. All right. Y'all hear what I said? Everybody got a calling unique to them. Amen. All right. But we all called by the same God, which is the great and mighty God of Israel. All right.
Back in hand, I always see it. Oh, yeah. Okay, back in hand, I'll just know see it then. <laughs> you gonna pray now or at the end? What do you want to do? You want to do it, to do it now? You get a song? Yeah. Okay. Again, the Holy Father, the King of all Israel, thanking and praising God for our King. Thankful for the beautiful, beautiful message to our King. Ask you to continue to sit patient and quiet. Um, we're gonna go. We're gonna ask for a selection. Um, I'm gonna ask Temple Number One to come up and give us a selection, and then I'll come back to you. Come on, number one. Deacons and ushers to cover the doors. Ask you to sit upright, prepare yourself to receive our demonstrator, Deacon Javon Griffin. Amen. Let us receive our demonstrator. I rise to give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all Israel. I present my body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is just my reasonable service. All right. I'm asking you all Cup your hands in an upright position. Place your feet firmly on the ground, rooted and grounded. And you shall not be moved. I ask you to sing two verses of the demonstration song.
two message. Do not play with knives, children. Be cautious of people that think that playing with knives is funny because it's not funny to be dangerous. We are light. Darkness feeds off of light. Light cannot feed off of darkness. So we must walk therein. Those that are older that's having surgery, quit doubting. Quit being statistic. Oh, I'm such and such age, my, my body don't develop like that no more. We are here to remove doubt and replace it with confidence. That confidence is going to be consistent if you seek his face, which is that shield. You hear his word, which is that sword. Be obedient to those that are over you. From your parents, pastors, those that you are think that children again, that think they have rule over you, that do not tell your parents. Be obedient to that righteous spirit within you. Children, we are the child of the king. I do not see no immediate hurt, harm, or danger fall upon us. Because I told you what the sword and what the shield is. Now fight. Amen. 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 We're thanking the God of his soul for our demonstrator. We're thanking him for the words through our demonstrator. As you take heed to the words of the demonstrator that all will be well with your soul. And I'm trying to get the pastor to come back and tell you how much you want, but she's giving me hand signals. Stand up and tell us what the people, what, what you want in the offering. Amen. I thought sure my nephew was going to do this because he told me he was in charge of everything. Now he's backing down. <laughs> but he asked for 25 last night. Joel told me to ask for whatever I want. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you for $40 <laughs> and you give what you can. Thank you. Amen. 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 Pastor's asking for $40 if you can. If you can't, give what you can. At this time, we're going to ask the announcer to come forward with our announcements as our deacons and ushers to lift our tithes and raise our offering. As you continue to sit patient and quiet in the service, and because the king will be coming back to pray a prayer over God's people Israel. Let us receive the announcer.
Again, we thank God for all of you being here. We appreciate you and love you. Right. And remember, you are called. Answer your calling. Amen. Pass me not. Here. God of Israel, we thank you, Holy Father, for this beautiful occasion. Amen. We thank you, Holy Father, for keeping us alive. Amen. We thank you, Holy Father, for all the things that you have done for us down through the years. Amen. And we thank you, Holy Father, for blessing us right now. Yes. We thank you, Holy Father, for the Pontiac Church. Amen. We ask you to continue to strengthen each one of them, Holy Father, Amen. that they may continue to represent you right here in the city of Pontiac. Amen. Oh Lord, God of Israel, bless us all, all over the land of Israel. Yes. We ask you to give us peace, joy, health, and prosperity. Yes. Heal us. Yes. Let us enjoy the freedom of spirit yes. in which you have given us. Let us have a mind, Holy Father, to forgive, yes. to have mercy, yes, to look beyond our brothers and sisters' faults and see the needs. For we ourselves have false ourselves. O oh Lord God of Israel, lift us up, Holy Father, to that high heaven that we can walk around in heaven all day. That we can give you the praise and the honor and thank you, Holy Father, every day of our lives. And we thank you, Holy Father, for the accidents that didn't happen. And the one that happened, Holy Father, you took care of us. And we just want to thank you, Holy Father. We thank you, thank you, thank you, Holy Father. Even if we have pains in our body, we thank you if we feel them. If we keep on praising you, Holy Father, you'll get rid of our pains. We ask you to heal us, Holy Father. Make us well. Body, mind, and spirit. Oh, Lord, God of Israel, we always give you the praise, Holy Father. And we thank you, thank you, thank you. All the days of our life. We have so much to thank you for, Holy Father. You have been a doctor for some of us, a lawyer in a courtroom, a heart fixer, a mind regulator. You have been good to us, Holy Father, and we just want to thank you for it, Holy Father. I thank you, Holy Father. Thank you for Mother Gloria. As she continue to give us strength to go on, Holy Father. Not only her, all of us, Holy Father, we stand in the need of your prayer, Holy Father. Oh, Lord, God of Israel, give the ministry power. Amen. To heal the sick, raise the dead, comfort your people, Holy Father. Oh, Lord, God of Israel. And I just want to thank you for me, Holy Father. Amen. Thank you for looking beyond my faults and seeing my need. Thank you for raising me up, Holy Father. Thank you, Holy Father, for saving my life, Holy Father. I thank you, Holy Father, for all the things you've done for me down through the years. Oh, Lord, God of Israel. All over the land of Israel, we thank you. 
And we give you the praise. And I ask your Holy Spirit to continue to move from body to body and from mind to mind that we maybe go forward and go home still remembering what you've done for us. And we can have that testimony that I've come too far to turn around. I ask these needed blessings upon all of us in the name of the great and mighty God of Israel. Let us all say with one voice all over the land of Israel, Amen. Amen. Oh Lord, I thank you. Oh Lord, I thank you. Oh, I just thank you. Thank you. Rise, give honor to the Holy Father, the King of all of Israel, to go through the closing prayer, asking everyone to remain standing, place your right hand over your heart, and keep your mind on the King of all Israel as we repeat the prayer by saying, Now may the peace, now may the peace, and the love, and the love of the great God of Israel, of the great God of Israel, and the love of his son, and the love of his son, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, and the communion, and the communion of the Holy Ghost, of the Holy Ghost. All be in. All be in. And go with us all. And go with us all. From this meeting. From this meeting. May the God of Israel. May the God of Israel. Keep love's banner. Keep love's banner. Floating over us. Floating over us. And smite death. Smite death. 
threatening ways before us. Threatening ways before us. And grant too. And grant too. That he we may so love him. That we may so love him. That we will love. That we will love. And cleave. And cleave. One to another. One to another. And this we do know. This we do know. That if we will. That if we will. With all our heart. With all our heart. Soul, soul, mind, mind, and strength, and strength. Love thee, love thee, O God of Israel, O God of Israel. We shall receive, we shall receive, and possess, and possess the kingdom of David, the kingdom of David, in this world, in this world. And thou wast sent unto us, and thou wast sent unto us, all the kingdoms of God, all the kingdoms of God, in heaven, in heaven. And if we truly love and thee, if we truly love thee. Thou will bless us to be. Thou will bless us to be the true Israels of God. The true Israels of God. And then we shall enter. And then we shall enter into that everlasting kingdom. The everlasting kingdom which has no end. Which has no end. This. This and all other blessings. And all other blessings. Thou see it. We need. Thou see it. We need. We ask. We ask. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And the Son. And the Son. And the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost. Let us all say Amen. 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 All together. Let's all shake hands and get acquainted. Let's go back stand and support the kitchen. <laughs>